And Depp claimed Amber left a rather disgusting present for him after they argued around the time of her 30th birthday. My side of the bed was human fecal matter, and she tried to blame it on the dogs. Sorry, I could not agree with her. I'd lived with those dogs. I picked up their fun. It was not the dog. He testified Amber targeted him physically. Throwing a TV remote at my head. And verbally. Tell me what a bad father I was and that I had no idea how to parent. It's to slice you up. It's to bring you down. It's to demean you. He testified Welcome back to the channel. Facts for gentlemen. If you like the content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Today, I want to discuss this video of Johnny Depp at the defamation trial pertaining to him and his ex-wife, Amber Heard. If you don't know the situation, Johnny Depp is suing his ex-wife, Amber Heard, for $50 million for defamation of character. Amber Heard has alleged that Johnny Depp um, physically abused her. Um, Johnny Depp is an actor worth about $75 million, and Amber Heard is his ex-wife who's worth about $8 million. And uh, Amber Heard made these allegations about Johnny Depp, but um, Johnny Depp decided to counter, basically sue her for defamation um, and for $50 million. And this is the video of his testimony for the trial. And what I want to do today is point out 15 red flags that Johnny Depp ignored about Amber Heard. Let's get into it. I did not punch you. I did not deck you. That is Amber yelling at Johnny, the verbal altercation after a physical one between the two. I didn't punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. You're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a baby. The audio of the undated brawl played in court after he revealed new claims from another incident where his finger was famously severed. I was looking directly at my bones sticking out. For the first time, Johnny on the record, alleging his wife threw not one, but two bottles of vodka at him after an argument in 2015. She threw the large bottle and it made contact and shattered uh, everywhere. And then I looked down and realized that the, the, the tip of my finger had been Severed. And while Amber has previously denied Johnny's allegations, he insisted it happened in Australia one month after their wedding. I knew in my heart, this is, this is not life. And Depp claimed Amber left a rather disgusting present for him after they argued around the time of her 30th birthday. My side of the bed was human fecal matter, and she tried to blame it on the dogs. Sorry, I could not agree with her. I'd lived with those dogs. I picked up their fun. It was not the dogs. Johnny took the stand for a second day and immediately took on his ex-wife. She's a need for conflict. She's a need for violence. It erupts out of nowhere. And Miss Heard could uh, very easily drink two bottles of wine per night. Well, not a... Not a problem. He testified Amber targeted him physically. Throwing a TV remote at my head. And verbally. Tell me what a bad father I was and that I had no idea how to parent. It's to slice you up. It's to bring you down. It's to demean you. He testified that Amber's actions made him more likely to use drugs, like he had begun to do when he was 11 amid abuse from his mom. You start to slowly realize that you are in a relationship with your mother, in a sense. And he made these stunning claims. Ms. Hurd had spoken of suicide on a couple of occasions. Many times when I would try to leave, she would stop me at the elevator with the security guards crying, screaming, you know, I can't live without you. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna die. So why did you stay with Ms. Hurd given this type of behavior? 
I suppose because my father stayed. And we're joined once again by Court TV's Chanley Painter. Chanley, we can't see the jury, but you can. How do you think? So we're going to pause it right there. Um, you, you heard a lot, you know. There's just a few minutes of this two-day testimony that uh, Johnny Depp had. And in the testimony, a lot of stuff came out. And, um, you know, I think this is what happens a lot of time. You know, people come out and at first they have a knee-jerk reaction. And people say, Johnny Depp is an abuser. And we need to cancel Johnny Depp and all this other stuff. But now you're starting to hear the full story and just to see how, you know, uh, evil, you know, Amber Heard was to Johnny Depp and the things that he had to deal with. And um, people are starting to see his side of the story. And um, it's a pretty good um testimony and deposition if you want to go check it out um, and you can see you know the depths of really a lot more of the signs of a toxic relationship things that you can avoid and um, you know this relationship had so many issues and um, I counted at least 15 and it started out with number one the lying and gaslighting number two verbal abuse physical abuse, shame and insults, um, felt the need to even create audio, audio recordings in the first place. Um, she severed his finger by throwing um, a wine bottle at him. She denies the allegations um, and gaslights him, even though there's audio <laughs> recordings that are uh, clearly um, present right here at the trial, right? But she still denies it. Um, they were having major conflicts just one month into their relationship on a trip in Austria. You would think that one month in, you'd still be on your honeymoon phase. Um, she left, after they had an argument, she left fecal matter in his bed and then tried to gaslight him and tell him that it was from the dogs. And he just, he knew better, you know, you know, you know what human, um, human feces looks like, right? you know um and then you know he says that you know she she has a need for conflict and violence also she drinks um you know up to two bottles usually two bottles of wine per night but what you'll also see if you see the full trial um footage is that you know she asked johnny to get clean and to not drink understand that maybe his drinking was on a whole nother level but you think that if somebody asked you to get clean, not drink, you decide to get sober, that they wouldn't drink two bottles of wine around you per night. Um, also, her abuse made him feel more vulnerable to relapsing on the drug use. And he shared that with her, and it still persisted. Um, also, he felt like he was in a relationship with his abusive mom. And so it's a few parts to that. One, he had this abusive past with his mom, that kind of led him to the spiral when he was young with drugs. And, you know, one, the dynamic of their relationship was like a mother type energy. And, you know, a lot of guys, you dealt with that type of situation. But, you know, that kind of made him spiral. So, one, you know, we have to be accountable in control of our actions. But, you know, extra stress can make people relapse and do things. So, you know, minimize those situations. Also, um, she guilted him and threatened suicide on a bunch of occasions. And, um, you know, he felt like he said that was for manipulation. And number 15, um, just unnecessary drama, like pulling out the security guards and just doing the absolute most. Um, and these are, you know, that's just a short clip and that's at least 15 red flags that Johnny Depp ignored. and. Oftentimes, you know, we ignore a lot of red flags. Looking back, hindsight's 2020, but it was just looking at this video and couldn't help but to see how many opportunities Johnny had to see what was really going on in um, this relationship and with uh, Mrs. Hurt. Um, I uh, wish them both the best. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.